Good morning, everyone. Today we are heading off to Woolwich, a small district outside central London, to experience the prominent ancient Woolwich Ferry. But firstly, let's stop by North Woolwich and explore this area. North Woolwich is located in East London, Travel Cart Zone 3. It has the DOR system running through and especially the London City Airport located right inside. So where I'm standing at right now is Galleons Point Marina. As you can see, the view is breathtaking and the air is so fresh. From here, you are able to see the airport runway and enjoy every movement of the planes taking off and landing. I can guarantee you that there is definitely no place in central London where you can enjoy this unique experience. Good morning everyone, it's Tony live from London City Airport. So among the six airports in London, this one is the only airport located in the city centre. It's actually located in Zone 3 of London in North Woolwich. So let's go and explore it. Hi everyone, it's Tony live from North Woolwich, England. So basically now I'm waiting for the ferry to the other side of Woolwich. So let's go and explore it with me. No cars, you have to cross the roads, but otherwise it's like straight flat. Yeah, definitely try that next time. <laughs> From North Woolwich, by following the Pier Road, it will take around 15 minutes on foot or 5 minutes by bike to reach the Woolwich Ferry Terminal, while Central London has tons of bridges connecting two sides of the river, like Westminster Bridge, Tower Bridge, London Bridge and so on. There is no bridge at all in Woolwich or surrounding area. So taking the ferry is the only way to cross to the other side of river themes on your vehicle unless you want to drive for another 10 miles and take the Blackwall Tunnel in Greenwich. However, due to a huge demand for cars, you might end up waiting for an hour here if you choose to cross the river themes with your car. Pedestrians and cyclists have their own lane and there is usually no queue at all because the regular commuters prefer taking the foot tunnel next to it instead to save time. During this crossing, there is only another cyclist and around 3 to 4 pedestrians. Hi everyone, so now I have arrived in Woolwich. So with my friend here, Paul Rob. Hi. Say hi. An absolutely amazing thing I have to say about this ferry is that it is free of charge. I don't understand why people would love to spend £10 for 10 minutes in a river boat full of tourists in central London when you can just come here and enjoy the Woolwich Ferry for free as many times as you want with much more fresh air and better view. The ferry is actually very modern with the magnetic system when docking. The whole journey will take roughly around 10 to 15 minutes and embarking as well as disembarking are very straightforward and don't take that much time at all. Overall, this is a great experience. Highly recommend it for anyone seeking to have a ferry trip around River Thames. Hi everyone, so after having crossed to Woolwich by ferry, I have cycled across the river to Greenwich now and now I'm gonna take the Greenwich foot tunnel to get back to the other side of London. So let's go and check it out. So this is the other side of the foot tunnel, so the distance is actually very short. I think it only took me like 10 minutes to get through that tunnel. So 
Now I'm gonna head off to Isle of Dogs and explore this area. So that's it about my cycling trip to Woolwich on a sunny day. I hope that you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Now I'm cycling back home after a very long journey. So I'll see you all in the next videos. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below as well. Thanks.